Hey guys, so today I'm sure you weren't expecting me to do my wrap up from my room, but that's a very long story and maybe if I do a Friday read sometime soon I'll kind of explain what is going on in my life right now, but it is a very long story and not particularly a good one. So today I'm going to do my September wrap up. I can't believe September is over and it's almost October. I feel like the rest of this year is going to go by so quickly and I'm kind of looking forward to it. So yeah, let's get right into the wrap up. The first book that I finished this month was Twisted Perfection by Abby Glines. Um, I had taken this to read on the plane and at the hotel before I moved into my dorm. So I kind of finished this like near the end of August, maybe very beginning of September. And I think I gave it two out of five stars. I was very disappointed because I liked her Vincent Boy series and that's what made me want to read more of her books. But this is definitely an adult book and it is about a girl who's into traveling and she just kind of wants to get away from her life and she meets this guy named Woods and since it's like romance you can kind of guess what happens but I thought the plot was just kind of not really anything interesting there wasn't anything that surprised me and yeah I didn't like the language and yeah so I'll probably still read more of Abby Glenn's stuff but this was a disappointment then I read Wait For You by Jay Lynn, Jennifer L. Armand Trout and I read this on my Kindle while I was at school and it took me a long time to read this book because university is busy, there's the homework part and then there's obviously the social part and so I didn't have a lot of time to read and honestly I got most of the reading I did done when I got back so this was okay, this was my first book by her and I don't know what I was expecting probably again with the Abigail's ones a denser plot because there wasn't really anything about this book that surprised me and got me really intrigued so I kind of connected with the character a lot though so I did appreciate that aspect and in that sense I gave it three out of five stars so this one is about a 19 turning 20 year old girl who's starting her freshman year of college as I was am I guess and she's dealt with a lot from her past, so she's also running away from her past. And she decides to go to a school away from home. And there she meets friends, but she's still being haunted by her past through emails and phone calls and text messages and stuff. And then of course a guy comes into the picture named Cam. He was fun to read about, I liked him. And yeah, there just wasn't much to the story. It was kind of a love-hate relationship, I guess. It took a while for them to like get together and then when they did, as most relationships are in your teens, it was rocky. But yeah, I think there's a sequel. I don't think they're companion books. Oh, maybe they are companion books. So I don't know how soon I'll get into it because I did get Be With You, Be With Me from BEA. So maybe if I feel like picking it up I will, but I'm more intrigued about picking up her Obsidian series or her Lux series, whatever. Then as part of a blog tour I read The Girl Who Came Back to Life by Craig Stoffenberg. Um, my review for this doesn't go up till like the end of October, I think October 20th something. Um, but yeah, this was waiting for me when I got home and it was okay. I gave it 2 out of 5 stars. It was not what I had anticipated. From what I'd read of the summary, I was kind of expecting something creepy because it is about ghosts and more or less it is about when people die, it is like the families or friends I think they could do that to responsibility to go north and basically send off their souls to heaven or the other world or the next world or whatever you want to believe it. So it's this like I think she's 9 or 12, it is this little girl's responsibility to go up north to kind of send her parents. So it's more of like a self-discovery coming of age kind of book and that's not what I'd been anticipating but even in that sense it could have been better um, so 2 out of 5 but make sure you look out for my review in October. So I'm pretty sure I read that in a day, and then I think on the same day I picked up The Claws Come Out by Pat Lewis. This was just a graphic novel about, I think, four 
stories and they were just like about like an abominable snowman I think a vampire yeah so it was just like graphic novels it was a really quick read and I would recommend this for our year -thon in October when we're doing horror because this is kind of horror thriller based and it's a graphic novel so it's perfect for a year -thon. I gave this three out of five stars considering giving it four because it was good it was a quick read it was kind of funny but yeah I don't know if I'd ever reread it that's what kind of doesn't make me want to give it a higher rating then I read Choker by Elizabeth Woods I read this because I'm kind of in the mindset of I want to get rid of a hundred books before winter term starts so like January so by the end of the year I want to get rid of a hundred books that I have because I've passed 900 like it's like 901 and that's ridiculous so I want to like donate a bunch of books and I had heard bad things about this one so I kind of had it in my mind that I would read it I probably wouldn't like it so I would want to get rid of it I actually ended up really enjoying it I gave it four out of five stars it's about this girl, I forgot her name, Kara, Kara, and she is, she had this best friend, I forgot her name too, Zoe, right, and they were best friends for so long, and then I think fifth grade she moved, so it's been seven years that she's kind of been by herself, like she has friends but they're not great friends, and she just really misses her best friend. And then Zoe comes back into the picture because she kind of had like family problems so she went back to Kara, Kara, and around this time people from her school, well one girl, dies. It's originally ruled as like an accidental suicide kind of thing but then it gets like looked further into and they're pretty sure it was like a homicide. So... There were a lot of twists and turns in this book. Um, there's a love interest that people are pretty sure had committed these crimes. And I just thought it was really good and it was really well done. It was such a quick read. Again, I read it in a day. I had a really good... A lot of these books, after Wait For You, I read once I got home. And I've only been home like a week. So I've had some really good reading days. And I really enjoyed this one. So I was... I don't know if I enjoyed it more because I went into it with such low expectations, so if you do read it, go into it with like no expectations. Just, if you've heard good things, bad things, just ignore it. And then the last book that I have finished in September is Shooter by Walter Dean Myers. I don't even remember picking this book up, but I was just kind of sitting around in my room and I saw it on my shelf and I'm like, hey, that seems like it'll be a quick read. So... What I liked the most about this book was that it was told all through interviews with two of the more, not suspects, but like eyewitnesses, like people that were closest with the killer. So it's about a school shooting, in case you couldn't tell, and it's kind of based off the Columbine shooting in 1999, April 20th of 1999. I'm really into like, because I want to be like a social psych major, that's my major, I'm really into like school shootings, mass murder, serial killers, like what leads people to do this and what could have been prevented and what can be prevented in the future. So I'm really into the researching that kind of stuff. So I knew a lot about this one going into this book, but it took me a while to kind of click in that they were kind of recreating it because if you don't know about the Columbine shooting, it's up to you if you want to look into it. There is a documentary about a bowling for Columbine, um, but that one involved two shooters and they killed 19, 13 people and then themselves and then like 24 others got hurt and then in this one one person died and there was one shooter so that's why I can kind of see where he was coming from but it wasn't directly based off of those tragic events so this was okay it, from a psychological standpoint, it's kind of interesting to see what led up to it, but because it wasn't told from Lens, the shooter's perspective, or you didn't get really any, until the end you got some of his diary entries from him, it was more his friend, it kind of made it like you could see where it was leading up to something drastic would happen, but nobody caught on to that. 
But like, I think that's just kind of what intrigues me is a lot of these people that do these kinds of things are already getting psychiatric help and nobody has kind of led on to that they might do something. So, I find it really interesting to study. In my second or third year, I could take some really interesting classes at my school that involve like sociology like that. So I'm so excited for that. But yeah, this was like a three out of five stars. So, I just find stuff like this really interesting, not in like the creepy I'm obsessed with it kind of way, in the way that I find it very interesting that something like this keeps happening and people haven't figured out how to prevent it and like what the common signs are. So, personal opinion. If you're also really into like psychology and sociology stuff like that, let me know and we can talk about it because I find it so interesting how the brain works and stuff. So those are all the books that I actually finished in September. I will do a currently reading an October TBR in a different video because I feel like I talked for a very long time in this video and I don't want you guys to be here forever and get bored of me because I know it's been kind of a little while since I posted and again I'm sorry but I was busy with school. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about and what you thought of them and I will see you guys for my October TBR. Bye.